Hey guys, what's going on? And a little bit long overdue, we are going to be doing a team building guide for the new Weiss and LR Weiss and Beerus that have come out. So let's jump right into it because this might be a little bit of a longer video. First off, State of Calmness Weiss. This is an SR, summonable SR, really easily to pull. I have a lot of them. I think I have like SA10 on my global account already. I can't wait for them to get Waken. If you're one of those people who don't like to, like, who don't summon a lot, who can't summon a lot, if you get one of them, you could always go and grind out the free to play Weiss right That's over here. That is the Agility Weiss, the puzzled wrapped in an enigma weiss he's available from the hero extermination event evil powers strike back he's one of the last drops um level 20 defiance in the heaven you can go over there and grind him out the super attack 10 i'm pretty sure it's a hundred percent increase to his super attack when you go and feed him in just because he is an sr so you can go ahead and do that that's going to be awesome to get him out the super attack 10 this is if you only want to you don't need to do this uh he has doken waking medals his medals are you need seven of weiss medals the weiss medals are going to be available from either the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods event or, again, the Hero Extermination Plan Evil Powers Strike Back. From the Battle of Gods event, he is going to have drop medals on level 2 in search of the Super Saiyan God. And all the way down here, he could possibly drop at level 11, Whis, uh, the best teacher in the universe. So that's where you're going to get his medals. Um... They also have, in terms of Evil Power Strike Back on level 14, Strongest Under the Heavens, you have all the medals from that event specifically that can drop. It's definitely a pain in the butt. You're going to want to bring some AoEs just because everyone you're going up against, uh, but you can get them to drop over there. That goes. That's, we're going to talk about that also in the future because there's another LR Beerus and Whis card. You're going to need uh, those medals as well, so that keep that stage in mind. Edoken Awakens into Flexible Ideals Whis. His leader ability is Physical Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack Prelude to Destroy causes supreme damage with medium chance to stun so really good uh, uh super attack that is <laughs> uh pass the skill elegant gesture attack and defense plus 40 percent when hp is 30 percent or above see i feel like if they did all allies that would have been awesome for a support unit and maybe they could have bumped it down to 30 but 40 percent obviously would have been great but that's for himself so obviously i mean he is a dokenable sr so he's not going to be hitting that hard uh but it's cool to have him there if you if you need some linking buddies with we or with any of the beeruses um, he also recovers all HP only once when HP is 30% or below. That is the same thing that Puzzle Wrapped in Enigma Weiss does. He's very, he's a staple on an agility, on an any type of an agility team, really, uh, because of that heal. So this guy is going to essentially be a staple on a physical team when you're doing like Super Battle Road or something like that. You definitely want to get him to Oaken Waking. Obviously, I'm going to recommend to you guys to at least get him up to Super Attack 10 so he does more damage. Any type of damage matters in those types of events because you don't want to be there at the at the event and literally has just a sliver of health left and then die and all you had to do is increase his super attack from one to ten and you could have you could have won and trust me it's happened to me anyway go ahead and do that you could also if you want to because he's really meant as a linking buddy and a healer uh if you do do paths definitely the bottom left first just so you can increase all of his defense i really wouldn't recommend doing anything else if you plan on doing dupe system only because it's not really worth he's not gonna be doing anything else um if you want to give him some dodges so that way he can dodge more i, I could see you doing that um, but i don't really recommend doing any dupe system with him uh, link skills are godly power shocking speed connoisseur gentleman brainiacs and rival duo he has a very limited link skill set for very specific people he's part of the realm of gods category uh he has max stats of hp of 10,515 attack of 7,065 and defense of 2911 12 key multiplier of 140 percent that's about it um in terms of best linking buddies you have them over here as you can see let's see did my dokum battle builder i didn't check it out um i did not i need to change it over um, but all right, so Dokkan Battle Builder over here. Obviously, he's going to link with all the Beeruses because, you know, that's who he be best links with. He has shares three with each of them. They're pretty much the same. Did I translate? I did not translate this to English. Um, outside of the Beeruses, he only does with Paikuhan. Beerus is a shocking speed gourmet or connoisseur and godly dimension. I'm pretty sure that's it across the board, yeah. Um, and in terms of uh, Paikuhan or Paikon, however you want to say it, he's part of Brainiacs, Gentleman, uh, Accurate Assist, and Shocking Speed. What the heck's Accurate Assist? <laughs> um, I think that is, it's not, ri yeah, it's Rival Duo. Accurate Assist, that's interesting that it's translated that way. Anyway, so this is the only other one that he really links well with. Um, outside of that, there's really nothing else. This is three or more, by the way. Uh, but he's really not meant for links. I mean, he can be used for links if you don't have any other Weeses, um, or if you're just looking for that heal. Personally, I think you would you might be better off running the uh, Agility Weiss, but I have not done a side-by-side -side comparison of the two of them, uh, depending on, like, on the type of team you're running, obviously. If you're going up against an Intelligence, you're definitely going to want to bring this Weiss with you, uh, so that way you have that uh, type advantage.
But uh, that's it for this beast. He's a pretty cool unit. Um, I really like, you know, what they did. They finally gave us uh, another healer, which is definitely something that's very useful in Dokkan battle. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about the new Be uh, Beerus. Now, he is an LR unit, or uh, he comes out as an SSR, but he will Dokkan Awaken to an LR. Awakening Destroyer Beerus. He is a super strength type leader. It's uh, primarily focused anyway. Super Attack, God of Destruction's Edict, Supreme Damage, Passive Attack plus 60% at the start of turn, after receiving Attack, Additional def uh, Attack and Defense plus 40% for 3 turns, so you want him to get attacked at least once for him to get that nice buff. Uh, I, th I thought originally when he came out that it was supposed to be Attack and Defense plus 40% for every, like, up to 3 times. That was incorrect, so uh, if you guys were, have been following me, if you're new here, you could just forget about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm not going to go over Link Skills and stuff like that right away, we're just going to go over to the next, uh, his Dokkan information. Uh, he will Dokkan Awaken with 7 Beerus Medals. Those Beerus Medals are going to be available from um, the 7th Universe's God of Destruction Beerus event. It's just a Dokkan event that you go up against uh, to beat him. Go and get 7 of them. He drops 1 to 3 on level 2. So you can go ahead with any of the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas, and Whises. So you definitely have a lot of choices just because you have uh, so many different uh, variants of all of these units. Uh, he is Technique type, so you would probably want to go with Intelligence, and you do have an Intelligence Whis. You have the Intelligence Vegeta, that is not listed here. Interesting. Um, the Intelligence Vegeta, who is not listed here, should be good for this event. Uh, if not, you would want to bring either the Strength or the Agility. Well, no, most likely the Strength one, because he does that um, attack plus 100%. You have the Intelligence Goku Godku card, and then you're not going to want to bring the Intelligence Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, but I would bring either the Technique or the Strength one, depending on which one you have. Um, anyway, outside of that, once you get seven of his medals, it's a really old school event, so if you have any 120 leader, you'll be able to just destroy it, even with an agility team. Um, he Dokken Awakens, he gets um, Fierce Battle Link Skill, which is awesome. His new leader ability is strength is a super type key, plus three HP attack and defense, plus 90%, so he becomes a really good leader uh, when you just get that. Uh, he had just still does supreme damage, attack plus 70% at the start of the turn, after receiving attack, attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns. Um, so that's really awesome, and it doesn't say anything specific about him losing it, so I'm assuming every time he gets attacked, he just, it just renews itself. Um, in terms of that, a 12 key multiplier, 145%. In order to Dokken Awaken him to LR, it's a little bit of pain in the butt, it spans across two separate events. The Battle of Gods event, which I already talked about, you have the Beerus Metals, the Whis Metals, the Vegeta Metals, and then the new event for the Rage Vegeta that just came out. You're going to need seven Beerus Metals, which is needed from the Baba Shop, and seven Bulma Metals from the actual event. Uh, now, the, the we already talked about the Extermination Plan, Evil Power Strike Back, he's going to be available on that level specifically. You can go ahead and grind that if you want. Again, it's a pain in the butt. I would definitely do the Battle of Gods event while it's around. Um, but let's go take a look real quick. Um, the Beerus Medals are going to be available on Stage 1. Um, and the Vegeta Medals are on Stage 7. Uh, let's see, where are you? And you need, what, the Whis Medals. And we already talked about the Whis Medals. So you can go ahead and grab the Whis Medals from Stage 2 or Stage 11. Um, from here, obviously, again, it's going to be on stage 14 for Strongest Under the Heavens to get any of them if you want to do that. Um, the Whis medals are, yeah, that's what we already talked about. Let's see over here, the Vegeta medals. Now, the Beerus medals from the Baba Shop, right? We're going to have to go into the Vegeta, the Indomitable Warrior Rage Vegeta event, called the Rage Vegeta event. Um, you have the Bulma items or the Bulma medals on stage 3, Vegeta's Revenge. Uh, and you have to get the items that drop for the Baba Shop. Those items are on level 2, Birthday Party for the and the God of Destruction. You're going to go and get these little things over here, Baba's Treasures. Uh, once you get those, you're going to need those in order to get the Wee the, the Beerus Medals. Beerus Medals you get from the Baba Shop, and once you get all of them, he will Dokken Waken into LR, Beerus, and Whis. Harmonious Destruction, Beerus, and Whis. His leader ability, Super Type, Strength, Key, plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 100%. Extreme Key, Type, uh, ex extreme, extreme Strength, Type, Key, plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 70%. He does two Super Attacks, obviously, LRs. Uh, from 12 to 17 Key, he does Finger Flick. And from 18 plus, God of Destruction's Judgment. Um, the first one does Colossal Damage and recovers 7% HP. When you do 18 plus, Mega Colossal Damage and recovers 12% HP. So that's actually really awesome. Especially if you're bringing um, a Whis on board with you, because Whis will will heal you. Certain Whises will heal you fully uh, when your HP drops below. But these guys are also constantly um, regenerating health. That's really really awesome. Uh, passive skill destruction decision attack plus 80% at the start of the turn. After receiving attack, attack and defense plus 60% for five turns. So that's pretty awesome. 
Um, I like that attack plus, let's see, 140% attack buff. Uh, plus the 60% defense buff. It becomes a really good LR. Not fantastic, not crazy, but it's pretty awesome, especially if you're going to be running like an LR Broly or something like that. If you want a double LR Beerus and Lee's team, um, you can have LR Broly on there for key plus four. Um, so he'll start out with four key total. Uh, and I guess, you know, linking skills and everything like that. Plus he gets the HP attack and defense plus 70%. Uh, so you could have him on there if you really want to. Um, anyway, link skills are Godly Power, Prodigies, Innocence, Connoisseur, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Categories are Realm of Gods and Movie Bosses. Max stats are HP of 16,688, Attack of 14,425, and Defense of 11,250. Um, outside of that, Maximum Super Attack level is 20, increases Super Attack Multiplier by an additional 30%. Uh, passive Clarification Beerus and Weez have an unconditional 80% attack buff. 60% additional attack buff activates for 5 turns after being attacked. After the 5 turn limit, the additional 60% attack buff will not... Oh, interesting. I didn't, wasn't sure about that. Now, you know, it makes me sound stupid earlier in the video. <laughs> um, I was not aware that it does not activate again. That kind of stinks. Um, that stinks a lot, actually. Uh, 12 key multiplier is 150%, 24 key multiplier is 200%. Um, the one thing I will say about that that's pretty cool because, in, in, in a sense, because you could make you could work that to your advantage. If you're going up against a harder event, try to make sure that the weird Weiss and Beerus do not get hit. If you can prevent them from getting hit in the early stages, you'll have longer for the attack and defense buff to stick around afterwards. So that's kind of a cool mechanic. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it, but you could definitely do that. Anyway, let's talk about team building over here. So team building guide, best linking buddies in game, obviously all the Beeruses. So you have the three Beeruses over here, the technique, the strength, and the other strength. They have six link skills total. Uh, attack plus 10, that's 20% attack. 15, 15, that's 30, 40, 50% attack buff total with 5% HP recovery and two key. That's phenomenal. Um, that's pretty much the same thing across the board for the two strength Beeruses and the technique one. In terms of the intelligence one, it's probably because there's no fierce battle there. Yeah, there's no fierce battle on either of these two. So they're not getting the fierce battle link skill, but they have everything else. So they just lack a 15% attack buff. Not horrible. You would prefer that extra 15%, but you could definitely link them together. And then for the other one, it's the LR, Goten, and Trunks. Interesting. They have the Innocence, Genius, Shocking Speed, and Legendary Power. Uh, makes kind of sense. So that's 20% attack buff, 2 key, and 5,000% uh, 5, attack. Uh, that's not horrible. That's their basic linking buddies, best linking buddies in game. Obviously, the Beerus is going to be there. And for the other um, teams that I do, Beerus is going to be prevalent. I'm going to ignore them just because we already talked about them here. Um, this is for a mono strength team. We already talked about the two strength Beeruses. You have the Gotenks which is three link skills, the Innocence, Shocking Speed, Super Rate, or Fierce Battle. Um, you have Zamasu, which you probably won't run with him, but you have for Genius, uh, God, Godly Dimension, and Fierce Battle, and then the Godku card, which is probably going to be a primary on your team. Uh, two key for Shocking Speed, Godly Dimension, and Fierce Battle, so that's 30% and two key. Uh, so these are the three that you're going to link him with, obviously, if you don't have any of these two Beeruses. Well, that's about it for a mono super or a mono strength team. Uh, it's really meant for super, but I did throw this Amasu in there because might as well. There's, he's the only evil villain that he will link with on that strength team. Um, well with, anyway. Um, here we go. This is the Godly Dimensions team now. Or the Realm of Gods team. I have all the Beeruses on the bottom, as you can see. I have all the Weeses on the right. And so it's essentially the two Weeses, the two Godkus, and the two Zamasus. So there's really nothing has changed here. In terms of the Weeses, three Link skills, Shocking Speed, uh, Gourmet, or Connoisseur, uh, and Godly Dimension. So that's 15% HP recovery and two key. Uh, it is the same thing with the Intelligence Weese, so the tech and the Intelligence. You're probably going to want to bring the Intelligence one, because that Intelligence Weese does do allies uh key plus two attack and defense plus 20 percent up the intelligent the, the sorry the um the technique one attack the enemies attack is 20 percent down high probability to uh, stun so it's really up to you i believe that's high probability to stun right um destroyed with high probability yeah so you can go ahead and um you it depends which which type of scenario you want to do this with i would probably just run the intelligence weiss if you're trying to do that because he'll get the additional buff um, from the passive, uh, especially if you just have Weiss on rotation, uh, because then he will get the additional buff, and then you can link him up with any of these Beeruses that you see down here. Uh, in terms of the Godku cards, you have 
the strength and the agility one we already talked about the strength one so essentially the agility one's the same thing shocking speed godly dimension and fierce battle and the same thing with the zamasas we already talked about the strength zamasa for genius godly dimension and fierce battle it is the same thing for his intelligence counterpart so you do have some options over here for godly dimension uh, honestly it's probably going to be your best option to run him along with uh, beerus one of the beerus is down over here um, and then go ahead and also run him alongside with like a Weiss support that way when Weiss comes around he gets the additional support buffs over there that's just my opinion on the matter. I'm not going to do a full team building guide here. We're just talking about best linking buddies. Uh, and this is for the movie bosses team. Again, all the Beerus's are down here on the bottom. Um, he doesn't really link well with all these guys because, you know, they are all kind of, um, they don't link well. To, that's it. There's really nothing else to say about that. If you're running him on a movie bosses team, you do. You can link him with the Beerus. That will definitely help you out a lot, especially if you go for that strength or the technique one. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, but outside of that, um, let's see. Korra is shocking speed and fierce battle. Uh, the the uh, actual freezes, let's see, all of them are just two key, so uh, Genius and Super Battle, or Fierce Battle, Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle, and Genius and Fierce Battle, so really nothing there uh, that you can really link with, I mean, I guess that's cool for that 25% attack buff, but still really not that much, uh, Broly is uh, Fierce Battle and Legendary Power, and then you have the two Janemba, Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle, Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle. So, really, in terms of those teams, really, you can't do too much. Obviously, if I'm going to really be doing a team building guide, I'm just going to be doing the Beerus. One of the two strength Beeruses are going to be the primary linking buddies. And obviously, and honestly, I want to be honest with you, chances are you're not going to have, if, if you pulled the LR Beerus, you're probably not going to have a dupe. Uh, you can use the dupe if you want to for his best linking buddy. You're, you're probably, honestly, going to want to use it for a link slot on him, or a link path, or a dupe path on him, because you do have the regular Dokenfest um, strength Beerus. Or not really Dokkan Fest, but yeah, you have that Strength Beerus that you can link alongside of him. So you don't really need his Undokkan variant to link alongside of him, because that Beerus, when his passive goes off, he's doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Plus, you're really using him to buff the LR Beerus and Whis anyway. Uh, that's just my opinion on the matter. I haven't done the math. Uh, when I get some information, maybe someone on the Reddit does the math and everything, I'll go over that with you guys. But um, that's about it, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful and informative for you. Um, that was a fun video. I really like the Weirus and Beast card. Weirus and Beast. Uh, Beerus and Whis. <laughs> uh, so hopefully um, I can pull him when he comes to global. I still would like prefer that uh, Zamasu card um, or the or like a dupe LR Broly or LR Gohan personally, but the Zamasu card would be really awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you all later. Peace.